is Seth from Computer Tutorials and from my YouTube channel How I Think. And as I have been promising for a while, uh, Exchange 2010 videos, um, this is the absolute very first part uh, of the Exchange uh, installation. And we're going to extremely right to the beginning. And uh, this is the unpacking of a DL380 G7 server from HP. And there's going to be two of them one right there and one here. And we're going to have a, an exchange environment where DAG, we're going to have a DAG where database shared. So DAG is the database availability group. And we may or may not go into uh, CAS array, the client access server, and have an array. So for that, we probably need um, a third server or maybe two more, which we do have. Um, but I want to focus on DAG and installation of Exchange, successful installation of Exchange. So this is, like I said, um, the absolute very first part and unpacking of the box. So we'll go ahead and do it because I want you, I want you to guys. I want to see, um, or I want to show you guys everything step by step, which includes the cool hardware that I ordered, and I absolutely love this thing. So I had HP get me a dual dual processor, total of a total of sixteen. Um, core uh, processors in here Let's see. Okay. sorry about the camera being shaky but okay so obviously these are the <clears throat> account information this is the smart update firmware DVD and that is version 9.2.B, 9.2B, but I believe there's a 9.3.0 already out on the website, which is a little bit newer. This 9.2.B was, um, was distributed in December, so there's a 9.3. So we'll download that instead of using this one. So we'll put this aside. Get the cables out. So what do we see first things first? We got the um, we got the rail kit. Mount these. Obviously, you guys have seen this before. Um, the wiring harness rail thingy and then another rail kit right there and the server is down here so I'm gonna go ahead and pause this video and pull the server out all right so I took the server out it's the top one place place it on the bench as you can see I have uh, taken out both servers um, one of them I already configured here, and this one we're going to configure. Uh, there's nothing on here. This one's all ready to go. As you can see, they're identical. Um, so we have two identical servers. Uh, this one is... Uh, what is this? 146 gig. Um, two SAS drives and this is going to be serving as our OS obviously 
and then I have four 600 gig hard drives here and the reason I had ordered four 600 gig hard drives was that I was going to have a, a RAID 6 uh, which is the same thing as RAID 5 but instead of using one as parity it uses two as parities for redundancy um, but I may not use that only because there's issues with write performance uh, with RAID 6 it's kind of slow and if, especially if this is going to be a database used for email I may not decide to go with um, with a, um, a RAID 6 so what I probably will do is go with RAID 10 which is 1 plus 0 so you're going to have um, uh, this is going to be mirrored and then striped so it's mirroring and striping RAID 1.0 so that's what we'll use for this this is just a normal RAID 1 right here so these were as I said mentioned earlier these were custom servers I had built not built but I had HP you know order them um, for me and the reason that these are custom is because we'll remove the cover and then obviously you have the schematic on the back of the cover and I'm sure you guys have seen all this I I'm just you know excited about the servers I've been waiting a long time for them so that's why I want to show you guys this six fans no CD-ROM drive, not a big deal. I have a USB drive I can use. Um, that's where the processors go. And I had these ordered with dual prox. So I have two processors in here. Quad core. Uh, 16 virtual processors. Pretty cool. Hardcore server. And you can see um, it has six memory slot tri-channel each so one two three one two three one two three and one two three one two three one two three so channel one is tri-channel channel two is tri-channel channel three is tri-channel and I right now I have 24 gigs of RAM in here these servers are capable of going up to 384 or 386 gigs I think it's 384 gigs of RAM it can go up to um, that's a server limitation so and you're gonna be talking about a 12 right now each of these dims that I have installed is 4 gig dims um, then you, if you're gonna go up to 384 it's probably 12 gig dim I'm talking about a very expensive server then and I'm hoping I got two yep. so we have uh, dual power supply for redundancy and a couple of expansion ports right there which is pretty cool and comes with four on board yep one two three four and one's used for the online management um, ILO so we have so you can say five NICs on here so yeah, pretty hardcore server. Yeah, there's the battery pack for the RAID. The RAID array, which should be here somewhere. There we go. The RAID control is pretty small actually. That's the RAID controller, the 4i. P410i, that's what it is, P410i, that's the RAID controller. And a cool thing with that is that you can do RAID 6 now. Before RAID 6, see what they trick you, they don't tell you is that they don't come stock RAID 6. You have to purchase an extended um, RAID array, uh, advanced, advanced something. Um, yeah, it's a serial key that you need, which will unlock the 
capacity and give you rate 6 and 6 plus 0 so that you have to purchase hence why I originally when I purchased these I didn't know that I was going to have a rate 6 but since I didn't purchase it, well, I mean I could still purchase it and sell it later and redo it but I'm not going to spend the money rate you know I can either do rate 5 or rate 1.0 as I have I have now should be more than sufficient so there you go two identical servers for our exchange and the next step would be the installation I also wanted to show you quickly the hard drives we're going to be using is 600 gig for hard drives these are the unopened ones we'll put these in here two in this bay four right here alright so the next step would be the OS installation and so stay tuned for that